guys, Eileen Vick here for Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. In addition to having my own Facebook group on Facebook, which is also called Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick, I am also a coloring book author. This is one of my recent books, Victorian Men, Women, and Children Jubilee. You have 50 grayscale and some line art images to color out of it. And this cover happened to be colored by one of my peeps, my members, Maggie Russell. Or is known to her friends, Maggie Rat Russell. Her nickname is Rat, so. <laughs> All right. So this is an adult coloring book celebrating the Victorian style. A little bit of information for you on the front here. You can create your own 50-page coloring book, PDF book. Become a member in my group. You go to the uh, albums. And you can pick out of all the images that I have and make your own book. And it's $9.99. You can get singles from me if you want. And the other thing that I do is if you have a, a, a coloring book topic that you're interested in seeing published, let me know and I can look into doing that for you. All right. Oh, and when you color your images, you can sell them if you want. The only thing that you can't do, of course, is make copies and give away uncolored pages. All right. So let's get into the Victorian book. If you like that Victorian style, you should like this one. Now, the one thing I always ask you guys to, if you receive one of my books and it's got streaks in it, please don't rate my book regarding those streaks. We have absolutely no control over what the printer does. So just return the book to Amazon, get a replacement. But please just rate the book on the images that are in it. All right. So let's get going here. Lots of neat images. This is a line art, obviously. So, you, you know, you've got that mix. Now, this one, this was really cool. Um, I always do a duet coloring in my group. And what I do is I give away one of my images. And I broadcast live every night from... 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. And I gave this as a freebie as a duet. So my peeps colored this with me, and we had a lot of fun with it. I love this one. The little dog delivering the mail with the hat. Here's a, a catalog page. Gives you lots of options to color. Look at this one. Now, this picture is gorgeous. This is a stream behind here. So you color in your flowers and your greenery around it and your Victorian lady and then put your blues in or whatever color you want to make your water. Isn't that gorgeous? Then I've got four Victorian ladies here. Line art. Now, I added the border on here. I thought that was awfully classy. I could see this in soft pinks and rose, you know, rose colors. Pretty. And then a big style hat. A lady contemplating in a wicker chair. Now, this gown goes down all the way to here. So this is part of her gown here. And then you can go ahead and play with the background around the whole thing. Here's a big bow. 
Now, I've got this image again in the book. I did something different with it. Let me find it. Yeah. So I've got this same image, but I added some decoration on it. So you can decide which one you want to color or both. Play with it. Queen of Hearts, line art. Alice in Wonderland, because she's swinging around the flamingo. I would call this one a high class lady. Skinny as a rail. Oh, look at this one, beautiful. I love this image. It's just so innocent. And then this one. Now, this one is a painting, but I can't think of the name of it. Sorry about that. Now, remember, on all my books, all my pages are edge to edge. So it's like full boat image on all my pages. Here's a little cutie. Winter scene, bow on top. Here's a nice little image. Just darling. So if you love that Victorian look, we definitely got it. And look at this. A nice, beautiful photograph. And that sash is huge. That would be beautiful colored up. And then we have a young man sitting in a chair. This would be beautiful done in a way that it looks velvety. Gorgeous. Nice rich colors. Line art here of a Victorian lady holding a mirror. Isn't that adorable? Little girl scooping up a snowball, mom hiding. <laughs> Love it. Then we've got a lady with an owl hat. Let me show you this. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Now, if you look at this carefully, so here's the hat, and then the owl goes from here back, and then there's a little more hat. There's a little more hat underneath here. So that one is definitely different. Zoom out. Zoom out. I suppose I could have included this image in my, um, in my other book, this Hootie Owl's Jubilee. And I've done a flip through on this and the video is up there. Um, here's, here's another book, Awesome Autumn Jubilee. So all my books, all my book titles, with the exception of one so far, have Jubilee in it. This one, I've got The Many Faces of Jesus Christ. Did this one. So there'll be a flip through on that. Anyway, I'm a little off subject here. So here's our lady with the lines through it. Young lady holding a baby with the cat. All sorts of neat things you can do with this background. Now, this one has a bunch of Victorian ladies on it. Now, I have a lot of fun with my books in my <coughs> group when I get a new one out that, that Amazon has published. I'll go ahead and flip through it, and I'll ask my peeps that come in during my live broadcast to rate and wait, 
rate it from 1 to 10. They weren't super enthused with this. I liked it. You guys may like it. You decide. Here's a nice little image with some greenery inside of a photograph. Here's a couple of Victorian ladies. Here's a Victorian lady inside of a circle. Now, if you were coloring this, you could color this area inside here a different color than the area outside. I think that would look really cool. Or you could color it, you know, all one color to make it look like it's transparent. All right, here are uh, four Victorian people. Obviously an older style etching illustration. Here's a beautiful lady. This would be fun to color. Now, this one, if you look carefully, you've got your teacup. The image of the girl is inside the teacup. I wanted to play around with that and just do something a little quirky. Here's another Victorian lady. I don't know if she's in distress or what her problem is. Or if she's just looking haughty. <laughs> haughty toddy. Now here's the cover image. This is the one that Ma that Maggie did for us. So you can see that. Then we've got a young girl here. Now I'm assuming that these are the old style cameras where they had to sit for like, I don't know, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever the case may be. Good luck getting a kid to do that. Then we have a young lady and a young man. Look at those boots. And again, I think this would be gorgeous to color. There's just so much you can do. Oh, and here's a, a lady taking tea. Love this image. Very stylish, very classy. Then we have a nice um, collage. Clock in the background, smiling lady, and two kittens. Ah, kittens. Zoom out. Yeah, that's out all the way. Who doesn't like kittens? And then a nice young lady here. Illustration, line art, il line illustration, sketch, whatever you want to call it. Then we have a woman's face on a scroll. I thought that looked really cool. And then we've got a lady inside of four photograph. Um, what do they call those things? Corners. The little um, paper corners for um, putting pictures in, scrapbooks. Somebody help me here. I can't think of the name. 
And then we've got another young lady inside a wreath. Love this one as well. Look at this. Old fashioned picture, got rips in the picture. I put her inside of a frame. And if you know how to color gold, for example, you could do a really good job with this. That's another thing I teach in my group. You really need to join my group. Okay, now, my peeps really like this page. Go figure. So we've got five Victorian ladies here. I love it. And then we've got a little girl with um, some kind of vines or greenery. Hopefully, uh, it looks like they're raspberries here. Yeah, here's some here, up here, and here. So maybe when you're coloring this, you could put a little raspberry stain on the dress. And then we've got the lady with the really wide outfit. Good Lord. Please explain to me how these women went to the bathroom. Unbelievable. Donna Claire is the name. Then we've got uh, an image superimposed over music. I've colored a number, number of these. They're beautiful. These are a lot of fun to do. And then we've got two little girls. Just oozing innocence. And then we've got a young lady picking flowers. Now, I would recommend if you're starting something like this or doing something like this, start with the skin first. And then work from there. Then we've got a beautiful young lady with in a nice frame and flowers around the outside. I love her smile. And isn't this adorable? Brother, sister? Maybe we're working on a snowman here. And then, of course, very important page. Thank you so much for your purchase. I am very appreciative. All right, guys, that's the end of the book. Now, let me show you these. Zoom in. Zoom in. This is another coloring from one of my peeps. This is Sandy DeSanto. Colored this. Maggie colored the front cover. Sandy, Sandy colored this one. And then, of course, here's other images from the book. And this is the image, that one I showed you with the little girl trying on mom's hat. Um, I happen to color this one. Zoom in. Tell me that that isn't just super cute. Zoom out. Yeah, zoom out. So that's that full back cover. Okay, guys, this is Eileen Vick for Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. This is my book, Victorian Men, Women, and Children Jubilee. Thank you so much for your time, and share this video. All right, guys.
Have a great day. Bye.